Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I Love You episode 9 to 10. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. Okay, make sure I have this. Slow down there, Shanae. We don't want you to end up in the hospital at the hospital again. I can't help it. I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh, burger sounds so good. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you feel a lot better now that there's food in your stomach? I still can't believe it was all a prank and a terrible one at that. Did you just shove the, both those burgers into your mouth? Oh. Do you have any idea how worried we both were? That's what you guys get for ditching me at the party. It might have been a prank, but it almost happened for real. Look, we're really sorry. Okay? Well, we'll never leave you alone at the party again. Ever again. Let's just make this easy. How about not take me to any party at all? I won't be in your way when you guys are trying to have fun. And I get to stay at home. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Alright, no more parties. Anyways, how's the burger? Super awesome. What else? And... What about the redhead? Tell us about him. Huh? You both must have hit it off well if you de decided to do a pranks with him. Hit it off well? No way! I figured if I agreed to the prank, he would leave me alone. Sort of. But hopefully I won't see him anymore after tonight. Come on! He would have been perfect for you. He wasn't even put off by your I want to murder someone face. You both would have been had the perfect story to tell, too. Who? Your redhead babies of you, of course. <laughs> Yo, kids, you want to know how me and your dad met? We met at the restaurant and I threw orange soda at him and then we met again at this party. But this time he got, so, he got drugged by my orange juice and I took him to the hospital. Then it's all history from there. What was his name again? Yongi, right? Shanae and Yongi brought together by Orange of Fate. Yeah, Yonshin, Yonshin, Yon, Agi. Ah, the names, couple names, the cute couple names are endless and redhead babies too. Maya, cut it out already. It's not going to happen. But the babies. Why do you keep pairing me with the with guys? First you pair me with the German boy, now Yongi. I could care less who I pair you off with, as long as he's alive and he is fair game. I dream for the day you finally put your guard down and fall for someone. Well, then keep dreaming. Oh. Um, guys, I think we should head out now. How come? It's getting pretty late. Oh, oh, okay. Let, um, let me just order one more thing for takeout. How about no? Take your time. It's not like we're closed almost an hour ago or anything. Ah, sorry. We'll be on our way. Way. Text us when you get home, okay? I will. Don't worry. All right. If something happens, don't hesitate to call us, okay? Quit worrying. I'll be fine. Okay. See you in school Monday then. Man, it's starting to get chilly out. I should probably start wearing my jacket then. It's 5.11? Since it's already Sunday? Oh my gosh. What time is it anyway? Oh crap, it's past 5 already? I have no new messages as well. Oh well, I should hurry up before Papa gets back from work. The doctor said he's going to be fine and it'll be off the books. That's what you wanted, right? Why are you still here anyway? You should go before Yongi wakes up. I'll watch over him. I promised father that I was going to look after him. So I'm staying here, whether he likes it or not. Mm. Huh? Bloody hell, my head is pounding. What the heck? A hospital bed? What happened? You got roofied at the party, buddy. Shoshi? Wait, what? Why in the world would anyone... You weren't the target, mate. Or at least that's what the nurse told me. I wasn't? Then who? 
<gasps> the girl that was with me. Is she okay? Who? Oh, you mean the crazy chick with the purple dress? I think so. She's fine. She left with her friends not that long long ago. Hello, Noel. <sighs> Boy, was that a crazy night. Brought out some terrible sides of me. And the plus side, Rika and Maya won't be taking me to any more parties. <sighs> Ugh. Man, I'm exhausted. I hope everything goes back to normal after today. Sure. Hmm. Was with a face. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me no. Does father know that I'm here? No. I hate that I keep clicking there. He'll be here right now if you if he did. You know that. And don't worry, I made sure this visit was not on the record. The overnight staff agreed to keep their mouths shut as well. They gave me their word. And we need to leave as soon as possible. The room is supposed to be vacant. You know how busy it gets during the day shift. So hurry up. Fine. Is this how you treat the hospital's patient? How are you feeling right now? Been through worse before. Here. I asked the doctor for some medicine that will make you feel better. Calm down, it's just painkillers. Oh. Girl. I can't burp right now to do that. I guess I should have asked for anti emetics too. Dude. Why do you still have the, that thing? It's creepy. Just throw it away already. I'm giving it to Dieter as a present. I'm sure he's going to love it. No way Dieter's doesn't do creeper masks like that. I know, but he does like the owner of this mask. That girl? Yep. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm pretty sure it's her. You don't forget the face of a person who spills their drink on you. This is too good. What's so funny? You know what he told me? He told me she was super nice and sweet and that she tries to help everybody. Well... I don't know why he would like someone like her if she wasn't nice. Mate, from what I've witnessed, she is far from nice. First of all, she ruined your bro's designer suit with a piece of steak. Knowing him, he probably deserved it. Hey, I'm not deaf, you know. Second, she threw her shoe at me and Kusuke and ran out around the hospital barefoot. She what? She gave a nurse a black eye and finally she flipped your brother off. Yep, she's nice and sweet, all right. <laughs> I guess you could say she's an interesting person. She wasn't that bad when I was with her, though. Sure, whatever, mate. <sighs> Gotta take a breather. Oh, man. Hopefully this music's not too loud. I love you. Beep, 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 beep. Only an hour of sleep. Might as well get up and start my daily routine. I should start breakfast. I'm starving. <sighs> I wonder what's going on. It's already past seven and still no messages from him. I wonder if Papa's working overtime again. Ah. Welcome home, Papa. Morning, Shanae. Sorry I'm late. I stopped by the par uh, store to pick up a few groceries. Uh, let me help you carry those. Go ahead and sit down. I'll put away the stuff. Thanks, honey. How was school this week? It's alright. I'm still struggling with English, though, and I didn't really do the, that well on my chemistry exam, either. At least, I did better than the class average. What happened to the beer you brought two days ago? I had a difficult day at work. We're out of milk and eggs, by the way. Um, have you eaten anything yet? No. I didn't get the chance to take my break today. We're so short on staff. And man, I knew I was forgetting something. I'll go back to the store to pick some up. Here. I haven't touched them yet. 
you you stay here and get some rest. I'll go to the store. You don't have to. It's all right. I need some fresh air and exercise anyway. You shouldn't be overworking yourself. Okay. Then can you grab my wallet from my jacket? It should be on the coat hanger. Uh, there should be more than enough. Use a extra to treat yourself at your friend's bakery. Don't forget to put on your sweater. It's really chilly out today. I know. Ball is around the corner after all. I'm borrowing your jacket if it's okay. Go ahead. Say hi to Maya and her mom for me too, if you do go to the bakery. I will. I'll be back in a few. Park pastries. Closed. Darn. It's still closed. She must still be asleep then. All that dancing and freaking out must have tired her out. Man, I really wanted a donut. They make the best donuts. What a shame. I guess I'll go somewhere else for now for my donuts. Outdoor cafe. <gasps> wow, they look so yummy. So many to choose from too. These donuts are a little pricey though. They better be worth it. Are you ready to order, miss? Oh, yes, I am. I just have two of the regular glazed donuts. Sure, that will be six dollars. Ooh, that's expensive. Wow, six dollars for two donuts? Maya donuts are way cheaper. Uh, how may I help you, sir? May I get four breakfast specials, please? What type of bread would you like on the side? Uh, do you have anything like volcorn brot? Mm, I don't think we bake those. Oh, then what about pumpernickels? All right. Um, anything else? That will be all, please. All right, sir. We'll bring the food up to you, your table when it's ready. That will be $40 total. Darn, the guy I turned down is here. Looks like he didn't recognize me. Thank goodness I wore my hat today. Time for me to enjoy my donut. Hey, Dieter, over here. Oh, isn't he the guy from the hospital? I wonder what's new on Twitter. I threw my shoe at him. I can eat the other donut later. I need to get out of here before he catches me. Oh, ooh. The $10,000 Q-tip is here too? Yo. Kusuke, over here. Are you, eat are you eating with us or not? Dieter just placed our orders. Um, do I know you, miss? Dang it, that's how I was done dealing with these guys. Just calm down, Shanae. Everything's going to be okay. Once they are all seated at their table, I'll dash straight for the exit. I'll wait for you guys at the exit. I don't eat in places like this. That pretentious Q-tip, of course he would stay out by the exit. I'm heading to the bathroom. Uh-oh. The bathroom, of course. I'm pretty sure I can sneak out through there. That's what they always do in movies. Kusuke is not eating with us. What? But I already ordered him four meals. Uh, just give it uh, the extra to Yongi. I swear that Duke is bottomless pit. Uh, oh well, it's not my money. Maybe I should have ordered him a Berlin. Berliner. Berliner? Uh, you think he would have eaten it? What's a bird liner? Huh? Uh, what's up? Did you see something? Just an odd girl. Whatever. Anyway, duh, why didn't you come to the party? Homework. Oh, that was close. Who would have thought all these guys knew each other? What a small world we live in. Are you doing our okay, miss? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just trying to get away from the German boy and the Q-tip man, and the ponytail tail guy that came from, like he can't wait, and the ponytail guy that looks like he came from some water tribe. Ah! <laughs> water tribe? Where? Oh, oh, Mr. Soccer. Ah, it's you again. Ah, uh, why do I keep clicking right there? <laughs> All right, that was a funny read. Yeah, it is a really small world. They keep on running into each other. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this, reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!